Okay, so I would like to discuss two questions here um, regarding the steady state division. All right, so the first question here, this is taken from your textbook. The question says, the purification of hydrogen gas by diffusion through a palladium sheet was discussed in section 5.3. Compute the number of kilograms of hydrogen that pass per hour through a 5 millimeter thick sheet of palladium having an area of 0.2 meter square at 500 degrees Celsius. Assume a diffusion coefficient of uh, this. This is the D, all right? This is the diffusion coefficient. That the concentrations at the high and the low pressure sites of the plate are 2.4 and 0.6 kilogram of hydrogen per cubic meter of palladium and that steady state conditions have been attained. So when you see steady state here, automatically you know that you can use fixed law, all right? Okay, so can you imagine there's a palladium sheet? This is a palladium sheet. And um, a hydrogen gas is passed through this sheet by diffusion, all right? This is hydrogen gas. And it says here that the thickness of the plate is 5 mm. So, um, with an area of 0 0.2 meter square at 500 degrees Celsius. The diffusion coefficient also is given, which is 1 times 10 to minus 8. And the concentration is at high. So, we assume that this is at high pressure and this is at low pressure, all right? The low and the high. So the concentration at the high pressure site is 2.4 kilogram per meter cube and this is 0 0.6 kilogram per meter cube. It asks you to compute the number of kilograms of hydrogen that pass per hour. Okay, so they want you to calculate the M, the value of M here in the unit of kilograms per hour. Okay, so in my previous part one video, I already show you one equation, which is J, the flux, equals to M over A, T. And you know that flux also equals to, according to Fick's first law, negative D, which is the um, diffusion coefficient times the concentration gradient delta c over delta x so in this case they want you to calculate this one m the kilogram per hour so what you can do is this equation here is actually the same with this equation so you can summarize this as m equals to negative d times a times t times delta c over delta x in which you bring these two to this side this leaves you with only a single m at the left hand side so this is the equation that you will be working with all right so let's rewrite that equation again m equals to negative d a times t delta c over delta x okay let's look at the previous slide just now all right so in this case i would call this side as a and this side as b because you know that delta c is c a minus c b and delta x is x a minus x b okay so just plug in all the values negative d is negative d is uh, 1 times 10 to minus 8 meter squared per second uh, times a here is what is a 0 0.2 meter squared okay so 0 0.2 meter squared times t so t it says here that kilograms of hydrogen per hour per hour so the unit here is in second you need to convert 
uh, second to hour in which three six zero zero second per hour so it has to be per hour okay to cancel out all the seconds and then this one is delta c which is c a minus c b over x a minus x b c a in this case is 2.4 and c b is 0 0.6 so this is 2.4 minus 0 0.6 kilogram per meter cube divided by XA minus XB. XA here, okay. Because you know that the hydrogen gas, it diffuses, starts from here. And at the surface of this palladium sheet, we can say that XA is zero. And the thickness of this plate is 5 mm, meaning that the, the atoms actually diffuse through the palladium sheet at 5 mm of distance. So XB here is 5 mm. So XA is 0, XB is 5. So let's just put it here. XA is 0 minus 5 times uh, 10 to minus 3 meter. Okay? Because the value is in millimeter. Okay, so solving all this, you will get a positive value. Because why? You have negative here. And then the result of this, you will have a negative value. Because here, 0 minus 5, you get a negative. So negative times negative, you get a positive value. So you can try to solve this. You will get your answer as 2.6 times 10 to minus 3 kilogram per hour. So this will be your final answer. Okay, let's look at another question. A sheet of steel with 1.5 millimeter thick. Okay, so we have a steel here. And the thickness of the steel is 1.5, okay? 1.5 millimeter thick has nitrogen atmospheres on both sides at 1 to 0, 0 degree Celsius and is permitted to achieve a steady state diffusion condition. Again, this is steady state. So when you see the word steady state, automatically it reminds you of Fick's first law. The diffusion coefficient for nitrogen in steel at this temperature is 6 times 10 to minus 11. So this is D. Alright, so this is the constant, which is D. And the diffusion flux, also given the flux, 1.2 times 10 to minus 7. So J is given. It is known that the concentration of nitrogen in the steel at the high pressure surface. So we assume that this side here, I would call it as side A and side B. Okay. So this side here is the high pressure surface, which is uh, the concentration of the nitrogen at this side is 4 kilogram per meter cube. How far into the sheet? From this high pressure side, will the concentration be 2 kg per meter cube? So how far from this, from this surface, um, that the atom will travel until to the point, I would call this as a point, uh, maybe point C, all right? Up to this point in which the concentration will become 2 kilogram per meter cube. So in this case, you are given a flux, you are given the D, and you know your CA. Okay, so in this case, uh, let me just change lah. Right, I would call this B for easy understanding, and this is C. Okay, so CA, uh, A is given, CA is given, which is 4. CB is also given, which is 2 kg per meter cube. This is B. And XA is here. And XB is here. This is where what you want to find out. The distance traveled by the atom from this point 
before diffusion and after diffusing into this sheet of steel but only up to this point so they only want to know the distance that they travel the atoms travel up to this b point only so xa you can assume to be zero because it's at the surface so this is like zero millimeter up to this c point is 1.5 millimeter but up to this point this b point how many millimeter okay so this one is known this one is also known this one is known this is the unknown okay so you can rearrange this into this equation okay just transfer x a minus x b and j uh, exchange exchange the place so it's like uh, j equals to negative d c a minus c b uh, divided by x a minus x b so you just exchange the places between j and x a so x a minus x b equals to negative d c a minus c b okay um, in the bracket and this is uh, j so you would like to know what is the value of xb here negative xb minus equals to negative xa minus d ca cb and j so we can cancel all the negative become positive and positive and positive so that's why we got this equation here right from this point xb equals to xa plus d ca minus cb over j once you have all this uh, equation you just need to substitute all the values inside xb this is the point xb right equals to zero zero is xa at this point the beginning point xa zero x here is distance okay plus d is six times ten to eleven minus eleven and then CA is 4, this is CA4, CB is 2, at this point here is 2, and J is also given. So solving this, you get this answer. Thank you for watching.